Well, our, our next presenter uh, happens to be under the age of 40, and she happens to be a critical thinker. She started off on the CBS television show Survivor. She had done well, kind of you know, operating within the mainstream world. Then it occurred to her, wait a minute, we're idiots. And she, no, seriously, she said, you know, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I got to exit this mainstream mass media Luciferian construct, and I've got to start standing up and sharing the truth. And the culture tried to cancel her. The people have written horrible things about her all over Twitter, all over Instagram, all over Facebook. But she's here to share the truth that young people can grasp the idea of critical thinking, that young people can grasp the concepts that, that made our country great. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and welcome the great Anna Kate. Praise God. I give him all the glory. Seriously. Wow. Praise the Lord. So lovely to be with you guys here in California. No, just kidding. No, but really, the state is red. Like, it's totally red. We need an audit all across the country. Jesus. Praise God. Oh, it's so lovely to see my friends here. I mean, we're, we're traveling around the country and just talking about the Lord and talking about we're not giving this country up. You know, I was born in the Soviet Union. My family brought me here when I was four years old. I grew up knowing the perils of Marxism and communism and how evil it is. It nearly wiped out my family in Russia. Um, my family brought me here for freedom, opportunities, freedom affiliation, everything that this country stands for. And it's really sad to see this country honestly look more and more like the Soviet Union every single day. And, you know, I never thought I would be talking about, first of all, Jesus. I was an atheist liberal my entire life, really. You know, Clay, thank God I had some rational thinking, and thank God my parents taught me about Jesus when my mom got saved in this country. Amen. He changed my whole entire life. Um, I was an atheist liberal. I voted for Obama the first time in 2008. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. I, did, I have to say I did not vote for him the second time. <laughs> Because he bailed out the banks, and I thought, this is like communism, this is Marxism, this is socialism. And, and so that was when that seed was planted, but it was really only until 2015 when uh, I was playing professional poker, I was traveling the world, and thought I was living a fun life. Um, it, deep in the inside, I was miserable. I, I wouldn't say I was miserable, I mean, I was happy, but there was something missing. There was something really missing. And uh, I filmed a survivor, as he said, and I got back home. The Lord, one morning, cleansed me of my addiction to poker, addiction to survivor. And, and I went on YouTube, and I was just like, what, what's, you know, I'm bored. I don't want to play poker anymore, so I'm just on YouTube. And I'm telling you, I got red-pilled on YouTube. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's, that's really my story, and that's why I'm on YouTube now preaching the truth and about the Lord as well. And they keep trying to cancel me. They canceled my first channel. I was talking about child trafficking and, uh, you know, the Lord and what's going on, and they canceled me, but I'm back on again, praise the Lord, using it for ministry. But, man, there's so many things I want to say. Lord, give me the words. But in 2015, when I got back from Survivor, I knew, again, something was missing in my life. And I, I got red pilled on YouTube. I went down the rabbit hole. And I realized there's a Luciferian system that is trying to take over the world. And they're using this evil ideology known as communism. And Lenin said, in order to have communism, you first need socialism. And so I'm watching this video and I'm thinking, my family have told me since growing up about the stories that my family had to live through. My mom remembers being on a bread line, the one that Bernie Sanders says is good. Yeah, okay, why don't you stand on it, Bernie Sanders? It is evil. We are not dependent on the government. I am dependent on the Lord and the Lord alone. He feeds me. He feeds me. He takes care of me. I don't need you or any government agent to tell me what I need. I need the Lord and number one, the Constitution, freedom. You give us freedom, humans expand. And so my mom was on a breadline 
in Russia, dead of winter, standing in line for eight, nine hours a week, every single week. Many times we'll get at the end of the line, there's no bread, there's no eggs, nothing. You know, the, the communists, are, they're all about, you see it playing out in this country, they're coming after cows. They're saying with, with, the, with the bologna, with the methane gas and global warming, what they're trying to do is take away our livestock. They're trying to starve us. They want to control, right? Amen. Those, you can clap for that. I mean, it's like boo for that, but, but yeah, amen. I know, I know what you're saying. Because those who control the health care control who get the health care. Those who control the food control who gets the food. So in Russia, what happened with Lenin and Stalin used that in Ukraine, they went to all of the farmers and they took away their livestock to redistribute it around the country. Yeah, they didn't redistribute anything. They killed them. They pulled out the crops. People starved to death. In one year, because Stalin copied Lenin, in one year, more than 10 million Ukrainians starved to death. My grandmother told me of stories of, of her great-grandparent also. They, they would survive on one potato a day. And actually also when the Nazis took over, they did the same thing. They cut off the food supply. And so people were surviving. My, my great-grandmother, um, she was a brave woman of God. And she <laughs> hid a cow in the, in the forest. And it fed the entire village. And actually one of the Nazis came through and said... I'm going to take this cow. And she said, no, you are not going to take this cow. You are not going to take this cow in Jesus' name. This is how I feed my children. And the Nazi guard, either he was a young soldier or, or the fear of the Lord came upon him because he gave that cow back and she fed the entire village. They got through it because of that. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> praise the Lord. I'll tell you another quick story. You know, I thank God for my grandmother's faith because it's so important if you do not know the Lord to know the Lord. This is the hour where you have to get direction from God. Our leaders need to have direction from God. It's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. We're, amen. We're not going to take this country back. We're not going to take this country back through D.C. It is swamp nation there. It is over, guys. It's done. We take back this country with J.C. Jesus Christ. And we take it back with his boldness that he's given us. The truth, the light, the courage to take back our state by state by state, county by county, state by state. This is what they cannot control in the federal government. And this is what they, they, want, they want to silence us. COVID is all about silencing us, taking away our freedoms. No, we rise stronger. We get bolder. Amen. So I had a radical encounter with the Lord in 2016. I mean, radical. I had an encounter with him when I was 18 years old in Jerusalem. I kid you not, I was blaspheming God. I didn't know the Lord. I never knew what this was. I was literally standing at the Western Wall saying, look at these idiots praying to a God that doesn't exist. I was 18. And the moment that last word came off of my tongue, it, the, the heavens open. That's the only way I can explain. The heavens open, and I just felt a spirit fall on me, head to toe, filled me. I remember looking at my arms, looking at my feet. I was so full of joy. I was full of happiness. I, it's the most amazing emotions I felt. Times joy by 10,000. Times happiness, exhilaration, like just unbelievable exhilaration. I knew, you know what I knew when standing there? I didn't hear God. I didn't think God. This is what I knew. I knew up was home. I knew that's what I was created for. I also knew, I heard this really clear. I heard this is why the devil created drugs to mimic this. I had no idea what this was. I didn't realize it was the Holy Spirit. It was the Lord's compassion on me. And that's the mercy and grace he has for every single one here. Let me tell you, we are all truth seekers. That's why you're in this room. We are all, right? We want the truth. (laughs) 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you are red-pilled in politics, but you do not know Jesus Christ, you don't know the truth. You're almost there. And I'm not here to shame you. I'm here to tell you, you're, you're here for a reason. Amen. Listen, just ask the Lord, hey, Lord, I want to know you. I forgive me my sins and come into my heart. It's what I did. And the Lord, literally, the veil lifted. I saw in the media what they were doing. I saw the Marxism, communism they're pushing in this country. And I asked the Lord, use me. Here I am, God. Use me. I want to serve this country that has given me and my family so much. My family's blue collar. We, we would have, we, we, again, we had bread lines in Russia. We came here for freedom. And the Lord directed me to an organization you might have heard of, Project Veritas. <laughs> Happily served my country. You know, I went undercover as a journalist. New York Times doesn't understand that because they don't have real journalists there. So instead of you doing your job, New York Times, I got to do your job. Daily Beast, Daily Mail, I'm calling you out too. Where were you? Where were you when the drops about Jeffrey Epstein came out and how he used honeypots? Where were you covering that up, setting up pol politicians? Hugh Hefner also was involved in that. But real undercover journalists who go in there with colleagues. Rarely was I ever alone in a meeting. And if I was, I always had a security guard behind me. It was always in a public setting. But I'm a honeypot. No. no. I'm an undercover journalist, and I'm really good at my job. <laughs> and I'm proud of my work. I'm proud that communists got fired from the Department of State in 2018 because of my investigation. And I want to say, you know, I infiltrated Democratic Socialists of America. You might have heard of them, DSA. Yeah. DSA, yeah, that was an interesting experience. That was actually one of the most interesting jobs I had. I'm wrapping up in a second. Um, I, I literally didn't even brush my hair. I didn't brush my teeth. Like, I didn't even put on deodorant. I went undercover, blended right in. <laughs> Although I still stuck out like a sore thumb. Um, investigated them, you know, met with them. And, and, and they were coming against President Trump. And we found out that where they were leaking to the media. And anyway, the guy got fired for admitting that he was resisting Trump at every single level. Stuart Karatha, that was me. <laughs> but anyway. But really, it's not about me. It's about the Lord. It's about his boldness that he gives us. He can use me. He used a donkey in the Bible. He's still using donkeys still to this day. <laughs> And the left doesn't understand it because they're so programmed and brainwashed. But people are waking up. They are. Keep fighting for this country. Keep fighting, but ask the Lord how he can use you. Here I am, Lord. Use me. Amen. Bless you guys.